Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Mary Wasson. It's definitely been a warm day with some breezy south to southeast winds. And look at these temperatures here at 515. We're still well into the 80s. Now keep in mind sunset is shortly in the next 30 45 minutes. So these these uh, temperatures will start to drop once the sun sets back into the 70s and even the lower 70s for early in the morning. So here's how it'll drop by 7 o'clock. We're at 80 and then upper 70s by 8 o'clock and then we'll hover in the low to mid 70s through the over overnight period and so a pretty muggy start can be expected for your Monday. We've had quite a bit of cloud cover along the I-35 corridor, although in Temple we're starting to see a little bit of a breaks in the clouds. You can see a little bit more sunshine out near Brownwood, Gold, um, Goldwaith and uh, Hamilton and then out east. We've had a few showers here and there from Centerville up to Fairfield, but nothing strong, nothing severe. We've had a couple of severe storms right along the Texas uh, Oklahoma border there with some really heavy rain, but our next storm system is making its way across the four corners region, proving uh, that it's pretty hefty with some really heavy snowfall totals possible in the mountains of uh, New Mexico and then up into parts of Colorado. So that's the storm system that's going to move across here, swinging a cold front through during the second half of the day on Monday into early Tuesday. This is not the only storm system this week. We have another one on the way later uh, Thursday into Friday that'll bring us more rain. So we're lucky we'll see several days this week of that rain chance. You can see the rain uh, picks up again on Monday. You can't really see it there, but again for your Thursday and Friday, it picks up a little more. Here you go. Your future cast showing a mostly cloudy sky early in the morning, a few showers here there, but then the storms start to develop at around lunchtime and then continue on into the afternoon, especially along the front later in the evening and into the overnight period. This is the time frame where we could see some strong, maybe severe storms with large hail damaging winds. And again, we can't rule out that isolated tornado threat. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather to our north, but in Waco and our viewing area, it's a slight risk. It's a two out of five. And again, all the uh, modes of severe weather are likely with possibly some heavy rain. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. You can see those temperatures are going to cool behind the front on Tuesday. We're expecting a morning low of 57 degrees afternoon high 69. Perfect for election day and then on Wednesday we warm back up into the 70s, but pretty chilly morning and then we start to warm up a little more with a, a little bit more rain and thunderstorms Thursday into Friday, but this upcoming weekend looking great as well.